Hi everyone. The lecture today is the function and organization of the state. Now we talk about so from the definition of function. You can see the function of the state are activities. We present the nature of the state and perform mission of the state. Mission of the state are targets that the state have to set to. Normally, a state has a lot of targets to set to. They clarify function of the state into three categories. Normally, we have legal activities, the field of activities, and domain of activities of the state. Based on legal activities, we have a legislative function, executive function, and judicial function. Sometimes you also say the function of making law, implementing law, and protecting law. Based on the field of activities, we have economic function, social function, cultural function, educational function, and etc. Based on the domain of activities of the state, we have internal affairs function and external affairs function. Internal affairs function refer to the mission within a state. External affairs function refer to international activities. The state can use a number of methods to carry out its function. It can be coercion, inducement, or persuasion. Coercion involves the use of uh, intimidation to force someone to do something against their will. For inducement, I can take an example from the law of contracts. In the law of contracts, the inducement is a promise that calls an individual to enter into a particular agreement. An inducement to purchase is something that encourages an in individual to buy a particular item such as a, a promise of a bribe reduction. Consideration is an uh, inducement to a contract. For persuasion, persuasion is a term of influence. Persuasion can attempt to influence a person's belief, attitudes, intentions, motivations, or behavior. Now uh, we move to the organization of the state. As you can see, the state mechanism is a system of state organs, from the central to localities, which are operated by particular and comprehensive principles in order to carry out functions and responsibilities of the state. As for the future of state, a system of state organs which have internal relations in both organization and operation. As I said before, a state normally uh, consists of three uh, organ system, like uh, legislative, executive, and judicial. And you can see that three organs have international relations in both organization and operation. For legislative organs, it's make law. For government, it's implemented law. And for the courts and prosecutorial so they protect law. So for their operation, they must base on certain principles. Uh, so in here, I'm talking about two principles or two rules for the state operations. They are centralization and decentralization. Centralized power means the power that's been consolidated into one person or group of people rather than share out among many people. The power here referred to legislative power executive power and judicial power. For the one person, normally it's applied for absolute monarchy. 
for a group of people uh, that stay formation uh, of parliamentary system. As for decentralization, decentralization of power is the process of redistributing or dispersing functions and powers away from a central authority. This may apply for the state formation such as a presidential system, semi-presidential system, and some other ones. In terms of decentralization, according to the Montesquieu theory, the government consists of three branches having four their functions. Firstly, legislation or lawmaking. Secondly, their execution or administration. And lastly, interpretation of this law. The three branches to which these functions belong are known as the legislature, the executive, and the Judiciary agree respectively. Now I'm going to talk about a state organ. A state organ is a part of state mechanism and it has some features. The first one is must be powerful. It is powerful because it is established by the state and operated under the name of the state. Secondly, it is a statutory, it means it will follow the legal procedure. Thirdly, the state organ is independent in operation. Even all state organ have internal relation, but each state organ it must be independent in working. And finally, the finance of the state organ is provided by the state because it's a board of working for the public in public areas. So that's why it needs a finance or budget. And this will be provided or supported by the state. Now look at the state of Vietnam. As you can see, the state of Vietnam is a system of national organs. Democratic centralism is the principle that governs on the state organs. Based on the structure, the state of Vietnam consists of the National Assembly, the President, the Government, the People's Court, the People's Prosecution, and the local government. Now look at the function of the National Assembly of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. According to the Article uh, 69 of the 2013 Constitution of Vietnam, the National Assembly is the highest representative organ of the people and the highest organ of the state power of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. The National Assembly is the only body that has the supreme supervisory power over the implementation of the constitution and laws. The duration of each National Assembly is five years. Along with legislative functions, the National Assembly exercises supreme control over conformity to the constitution, the law, and the resolutions of the National Assembly. The National Assembly also decides fundamental master of the nation, including social economic development, financial and monetary policies, issue of war and peace, national defense and security, and external relations. As for the president, the president is the head of state. As the chief of the state, the president re represents the state in internal and external affairs. The president is elected by the National Assembly from among its members for a term of five years. In addition to playing a key role in the internal and external relations, the president also has certain rights 
in the legislative, executive, and judicial fields. With the powers related to legislation, the president has obligation and power to promulgate the con constitution, laws, and decrees. In the executive field, according to the Article 88 of the 2013 Constitution, the President proposed to the National Assembly to elect, release from duty, and remove from office the Prime Minister. In addition, on the basic resolutions of the National Assembly or its Standing Committee, the President has the right to appoint, release from duty, or this make the deputy prime ministers, ministers, and other members of the government. In the field uh, of judiciary, the president proposes to National Assembly to elect, release from duty, and remove from office the president of the Supreme People Court and the head of the Supreme People Procuracy to the vice president and judge from the Supreme People Court, the deputy head, the members of the Supreme People Procuracy, the president to the rise to appoint, release from duty, or dismiss them without resolution of the National Assembly or its standing committee. The president of the Supreme People Court and the heads of the Supreme People Procuracy are responsible for reporting to the president. The President has power to grant pardons. In order to assume responsibility and rights, the President is entitled to attend sessions of the Standing Committee of the National Assembly. And whenever he deems necessary, he can attend meetings of the government. Now we move to the government of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. According to the Article uh, 94, of the 2013 Constitution. The government is the executive organ of the National Assembly, the highest organ of the state administration of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. The government shall be composed of the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Ministers, the Cabinet Minister, and other members. The Prime Minister is selected and released by the National Assembly. The duties and powers of the government are provided in Article 96 of the 2013 Constitution. In general, the government executive three main functions, the making of laws, the administration of laws, and the enforcement of law. The government presents rough laws, decrees, and other projects to the National Assembly and its standing committee. According to the law, the government uh, promulgates decrees. The Prime Minister issues decisions, and the, mini the Minister and the head of ministry level bodies issue circulars to many on fuels of society. As for the administration of laws, the government also carry out overall man management of the world for the fulfillment of political, economic, cultural, social, national defense, security, and external duties of the state. In addition, to perform the function of the enforcement of laws, the government ensures the implementation of the constitution and the laws in state organs, economic bodies, social organizations, units of the armed force, and among the citizens and also organize and direct informational and educational work among the people concerning the Constitution and the law. Now take a look about People's Council and People's Committee. The, people, the People's Council is the local organ of the state power. It represents the will, aspiration, and authority of the people. It is elected by the local population and is countable to them and to the superior state organs. The People Council is the central 
for guiding and operating decisions of higher state organs. It is also the center to coordinate activities of all local organs. The People Council encourages local citizens to choice in state administration. The People Committee is Now look at the People Council and the People's Committee. The People Council is the local organ of state power. It represents the will, aspiration, the authority of the people. It is elected by the local population and is accountable to them and to the sub- superior state organs. The People Council is the center for guiding and operating decisions of higher state organs. It is also the center to coordinate activities of all local organs. The People's Council encourages local citizens to choice in state administration. The People's Committee is local executive body. According to the Article 114 of the 2013 Constitution, the People's Committee elected by the People's Council is the latest executive organ, the organ of local state administration. It is its responsibility to implement the Constitution, the law, the former right and orders of superior state organs and the resolution of the People's Council. Now please look at the people, People's Court and People's Prosecution. The court represents the state in arresting legal violations, maintaining justice, answering the state interests, and answering organizations and individuals' rights and legal interests. So what is the function of people's prosecution? The people prosecution within the powers of their function supervise the implementation of the law in the state organ, organization, and citizens. Besides that, the people prosecution is guilty the rights of public prosecution in order to ensure the law shall be implemented strictly and consistently in the whole country and at all levels of society. So that's the end of my lecture today. But please look at the next slide to get a question, and I will discuss to you with that question later. Thank you.